So to finish this off, we've seen two ways of doing this. We've seen the Venus algorithm and we've seen the Mercury algorithm. The Mercury algorithm was used when you had one side that was bandaged and an opposite side that was not. The Venus had to be used when opposites were bandaged because you had to do a D maneuver and it was going to screw it up if this was not if, if this was bandaged. So in this case you can do the Mercury algorithm if you set it up to where the top is bandaged and the bottom is not. Even though you have one at the side that's bandaged, that's not going to matter. As a matter of fact, you can have it like two halves of a mercury cube. You can do it from this perspective or this perspective. But the algorithm is exactly the same. Just be sure that when you do it, the bandaged side is the back side. Because you don't do any back movements with that. So I invite you to try, but we'll just kind of walk through some strategies with this. Um, basically, what the Mercury algorithm is, is it's going to move this to here and this to wherever you turn your D, whether it's D, D prime, 2D, but this will go here, this will go here, and this will go here. And that looks pretty good because that means I'll put a red one here, this will be here to be used with something else, and a blue one here. So as you recall, the left permutation, which is going to be here, which I'll post as well, is going to be Li, U, L, F, I, L, F, L, I. That brought that up here. Then we do um, any number of Ds, D prime. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a D here because I want the blue to come up here. And then we finish it off with a L, F, I, L, I, F, L, I, U, I, L, um, L and then cycle it back. So what we did is we put the blue one in here, the red one in here, and as predicted, the orange one went here. So let's see if we can do a little bit more like that. Why, why don't we try this? This will go here. This blue, I'd like it to go to another blue. So I can move this down. Now remember, you can set it up any way you want. Do your algorithm. Just remember what you did to set it back. So this will go here, solved. This will go here, solved. And this will go back up here to do it again. And this will be the right permutation, which is going to be the... R, U, I, R, I, F, R, I, F, I, R. So that's where it needs to be. Swing this on back here. Then we have a R, I, F, R, F, I, R, U, R, and back here. And then find our way home. And it should be fairly obvious, pretty intuitive. Okay. So we put this in place and we put this back in place. We have this ready to go again, so we can move this here, move this here. This can go here, this can go, well, here, and this can go up here. So we're actually going to be solving two here, right, with, um, with a left permutation. So you can see we're getting closer, filling things in. Might as well work on the green one. The green one, I'm going to bring this to the side and bring this up. So this will go here, this will go, well, we have a choice, but I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exchange it for another L here, just an L permutation. And find our way home. So this is filling in nicely, filling in nicely. We got uh, a yellow one ready to go. Now if we're starting to get a little complicated and you don't want to be doing a lot of turning around, I mean, we can, we can move this here, move this here, move this here. That's potentially a lot to remember, so why don't we not do that? Why don't we make use of our other side, our other mercury side, so to speak. In my case, it's orange. In your case, it's probably green or white. And I've got some reds to deal with. Just keep this bandage side back here so it can't hurt nobody. Move this up. So, all right. Why don't we do it like this, then red goes here, blue, do I have another blue to put in? Yeah, so I got a blue right back here, see, blue. So this will go here, this will go there, and I'll replace that with the yellow that's here. And this is the left permutation. And find our way back home. So the end result is we filled this in. And we 
I think we filled a red in. Yeah, we filled a red in. Let's see what we can do with the other red here. This goes to here. This. Well, we don't have another yellow. We don't have another sacrificial lamb. So. Oh. Well, how about this yellow? We bumped that out anyway. So this can go to here. And the red, do we have a red that we can use? Well, we've got these. Now, it's going to get a little complicated here, but if I move this here, up, and back, that will only confuse me, so we're not going to do that. Um, oh, this will go here. This, I can move this in like that. Aha! Uh -huh. This will go here, yellow, red, and this will be a perfect three-way here, so to speak. Anyway, left side. This will come up here. This will come over here. So I find this easier because I don't have to be quite as fancy uh, with my footwork here. So here's a red. Here's a red here. This might get a little complicated. So let's see how things are going down over here. What can, what can I manipulate here? Well, I've got some greens I could use. Okay. I can move this up here. And move this across here. So this green can go here. This white can go well I can either just bump this out because it's not where it's supposed to be either or I can move this down. Green to here, white to here, white back up here. Which is nice because it's a nice three-way shift. That sounds pretty good. I just gotta remember I did a 2D. And at this hour, my memory isn't so good. So anyway, in our permutation, remember that 2D. Luckily, I didn't have to play back the tape. This comes here, and this is here. So put that into place. That was a nice switch. We don't have too much more to go. So just for the sake of illustration, we can bring, eh, let's see. Why don't we work on orange? I can bring orange down here, and this up here, and this across. This goes to here, this goes to... Now, I can, I can just swing it back into a red here. This goes to here, this goes to here, and back up here. So a right permutation. All right, so getting closer. Let's check out the yellow side of town here. I can swing this green up. Move it over here, green to green, white to, oh, look at this guy over here. Aha, green to green, white to white, this to red. So this may get me very close. So right permutation. Okay, getting close. And now I just have two more to go. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, these are both bandaged, so I can't do it with that. I have to somehow finagle my way here. Maybe I'll use the blue side. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this down here to get it set up. This comes up and around. And this should be the final blow. This to here, this to here, this to here. Just have to remember what I did. So our permutation. And then find my way home. And you have solved the Earth Cube. So now we leave this strange and wonderful planet and move off into the further denizens of the solar system. Next stop, the mysterious world of Mars.